But you know, it's so hard to figure out who to trust. Like on the one hand, you have the YouTuber who sells supplements telling you that you need supplements because the soil. And on the other hand, you have doctors and dietitians. Who's to say? So it's been four years since beauty guru Tati Westbrook released her Halo Beauty line, her first product, the Hair, Skin, and Nails Booster. I made a video looking into the ingredients and the claims she was making regarding those ingredients and ultimately came to the conclusion that, yeah, the evidence doesn't really support what she's saying. And if you really are intent on buying some sort of hair, skin, and nails supplement, there are cheaper options. When it comes to hair, skin, nails, you, you probably already know how to take care of these things. It's basic stuff that we've heard a thousand times before. When it comes to skin, wear your sunscreen, don't tan, use a gentle cleanser, moisturize, get enough sleep, drink water, eat a healthy diet. There's other stuff that may be effective too. Again, I mentioned the rosehip oil earlier, retinol, of course, uh, but as the AAD says, don't try more than like one new product at a time. And if you have serious concerns, like serious cystic acne or hair loss or brittle nails, please see a doctor. I don't watch beauty stuff on YouTube and I'm not interested in beauty supplements, unsurprisingly, so I had no idea that Halo Beauty was number one still a thing. Number two had more products. There's the Kiwi Seed Booster, the Body and Brain Booster Multivitamin for women. There's also one for men. And now just announced the anti-aging booster that supports cellular regeneration, promotes collagen formation, and supports smooth and supple skin. Anyway, like the original Halo booster, whatever, whatever you want to call it, I keep thinking of Jingle All The Way booster. Oh my god. Anyway, like that one. This one is also vegan. I believe all of her products are vegan, so that's cool. Not so cool. It's even more expensive than the original. It's $49.95 for a 30-day supply. She says that's due to the Sakura, the cherry blossom flower extract. This is what makes the product very expensive. It is very expensive to source. So I'm sure the stuff is pure gold right? I mean, if she's willing to use it and put it in this product and raise, have it be that expensive, it must just be amazing. The evidence for it must be so robust, just like the Ceramide RX in the original Halo Booster. Saying that Ceramide RX can do what no lotion or cream can based on 17 participants improving slightly more than the 16 who are on the placebo, that's quite the stretch. Speaking of the ingredients, I guess let's get into it. Now, unfortunately, there's no breakdown of the ingredients like there are for the other products on the website, at least at the time I'm recording this. So I'm going to be using her video, her big announcement or big news video, where she goes through each ingredient and lists what they're good at, why they're useful for anti-aging. Before she gets into the ingredients, she has to make clear that she is absolutely for you using all of her products together. This is a product you can absolutely take with the multivitamins. If you want to go the distance and you're like, I'm in it, take Kiwi with it or take HSN with it. I personally do that. I take my Kiwi, I take my Sakura, I take my Multi. That just makes me kind of uncomfortable. Go the distance, I'm in it. It, it sounds like true fan, you know, are you a true fan? Like, are you really serious about anti-aging? This is for someone who is serious about anti-aging. Well, then you'll spend the $50 a month on cellular regeneration. And if you're really, really super serious, like your favorite YouTuber, Toddy Westbrook, well, then you'll take all of it and spend $137 a month doing it. Or more if you also buy her immunity booster packets. I'm a big believer in supplementing, obviously, but it's because I just don't trust our soil with where we're at in the world right now. Our, you know, food does not have the nutrients that sadly it once did. You know, the environment, pollutants, all these different factors, um, stress factors. She may be concerned about this as someone with no medical or nutrition <laughs> background whatsoever, but the people with the relevant expertise uh, really aren't. 
Medical consensus is no, you probably don't need 40 different supplements unless you have a diagnosed deficiency or you're pregnant or you eat a diet that inherently lacks certain nutrients or makes it harder to get certain nutrients like a vegan diet or a keto diet. Unless you're in any of those groups, there is likely no reason to take supplements. But you know, it's so hard to figure out who to trust. Like on the one hand, you have the YouTuber who sells supplements telling you that you need supplements because the soil. And on the other hand, you have doctors and dietitians. Who's to say? All right, on to the ingredients. First up is very basic. We have zinc. This is going to help immune function. It does a plethora of things. Most of us have heard of zinc. I'm not gonna stay there long. Yep, it is important. Most people get plenty aside from older adults. It's also a nutrient of concern for vegans, so make sure you're eating your legumes, nuts and seeds, stuff like that. You'll also find it in virtually any multivitamin. It's in the prenatal I take. 36 weeks, so close, so close, we're almost there. I also do take some when I feel a cold coming on because there is some evidence that it can shorten the dur duration of a cold by about a day or so. When you've got little kids like I do, even a day is like, it, it's you need it. It's a pretty big deal. <laughs> but I find it weird that zinc would be in here. I'm not sure why it specifically is anti-aging. I mean, really any nutrient is. If you are deficient in a nutrient, you should probably not be deficient in it. It's probably not good for your long-term health to continue to be deficient in an essential nutrient. But it's especially weird here since every one of her other products also contains zinc. And again, she does encourage you to buy them all. I've got to buy your Pokemon. I've got to buy it. I've got to buy it. Now you can collect them all. Furry cat. And if you really did buy them all, you'd get quite a bit of zinc, 29 milligrams total, which is pretty close to the tolerable upper intake level, which is 40 milligrams for adults per day. That's the max amount of zinc you should get in a day. And that 40 milligrams is from both supplements and food. So it's not really that unreasonable to expect someone to get an additional 11 plus milligrams from food to hit or even surpass that 40 milligrams per day maximum. So yeah, please don't buy them all. Just eat a healthy diet, even like a moderately healthy diet. And if you still think you aren't getting enough, just buy a basic multi from the grocery store. We have copper, which is a mineral that is so important important and it is not in a lot of multivitamins. It's not in a lot of supplements in general, which is pretty interesting. It's something the body needs. The body thrives. It helps to oxygenate the skin. It does so much more. We need it. It's essential. Yes, copper is also an essential nutrient, but the reason it's not in some multivitamins is because copper deficiency is so very rare. Most people get enough pretty much if you just eat enough food, <laughs> like you're probably gonna get enough copper. Now, if you take a lot of zinc, you could end up with a copper deficiency, which is very interesting because again, if you're a uh, true Halo Beauty fan and you're buying all the products, you're getting a lot of zinc. So it actually does make sense for her to include copper in this and her other products. I think one other product has it as well, the original Halo Beauty Booster, but it might not be enough to offset the potential harm from excess zinc. This is why we should not get medical and nutrition advice from YouTubers, particularly the YouTubers who are trying to sell you shit. She can insist all she wants that her products are natural and not drugs, they're supplements, which is true, but something being a supplement doesn't mean that it can't cause harm. There's a reason the government sets an upper limit for virtually every single essential nutrient. Almost all of them can cause deleterious effects in high enough amounts, including like with zinc and copper, where too much of one can inhibit absorption of another. We have choline, again, another essential antioxidant. Choline assists your nervous system, brain function. This is really another essential. It's one of those ingredients that does proven slow down the aging process and really does benefit the brain. So neurologically, this is very helpful and necessary. So unlike copper, many people do not meet the AI. There's no RDA. There's adequate intake for choline. Many people do not meet that. It's really not clear if if that's a problem or not. The adequate intake is based on very limited evidence. We know that very, very low amounts of choline, like that's that's bad and like true deficiency is really bad. 
but that's about it. That said, I do actually take a dedicated choline supplement because it might be really important for fetal development, particularly during the first six weeks or so, much like folate. So I take it both when I'm pregnant and when I'm not pregnant. As always, talk to your doctor. And of course, you do not need Halo Beauty to get more choline if you need it. Many multivitamins already contain some choline, around 50 milligrams, just like Taddy's. Then we start to get in the more, I have never heard of that, ingredients that are just really fun that they're included in here because it's not something you are going to ingest on the regular, just eating your standard diet. We have black ginger extract. This is going to help physical endurance. You're gonna get a little, a little more from yourself. It can kind of pick you up, not in a caffeinated jittery type of a way, but it just will help you to endure. This again is antioxidant. This is anti-inflammatory. When I was writing these notes, I, I like totally forgot what we were even talking about by this point. <laughs> like what, what was the supplement for again? Oh yeah, anti-aging. It's like we're four ingredients in and like what does this have to do with anti-aging specifically? Anyway, black ginger and physical endurance. So luckily for us, there's actually a systematic review on black ginger. It's published in an alt-med journal. So, you know, not great, but even they say there just aren't enough studies here. And the main findings, improvements in grip strength and erectile response, I don't know, man, doesn't really seem super relevant to Tati's target audience like Halo Beauty, pink and gold and anti-aging, but also strong hands and dicks. <laughs> I mean, she does have a multivitamin for men, so maybe she's trying to reach the male demographic too. I, that's, hey, that's cool. <laughs> and she's also got anti-inflammatory antioxidants in there, super, super uh, marketable words, but like eat some fruits and vegetables. Eat a healthy diet, as I'm sure Toddy herself would encourage you to do. Then we have the hallmark, just, mm, just the delicious ingredient in here, Sakura flower extract. This is the one, if you're getting up there in age, this is that ingredient that is gonna be so helpful for you. It is anti-aging, anti-glycation. It is going to help collagen formation in your fibroblasts. So this is the big one, anti-aging, anti-glycation, collagen formation. There is this study specifically on AGEs and collagen. Clearly it's not in humans and also not very vegan friendly. All of these are in vitro as well. In terms of human trials, I did find three RCTs, randomized controlled trials, which sounds pretty good on the face of it. Well, this one involved 40 participants who had their arm basically irritated with like concentrated SLS and then had either the placebo cream or the cream containing cherry blossom extract applied to their arms for nine days. Seems like the CBE, the cherry blossom extract was beneficial, so that's cool but not really relevant here. Putting cherry blossom extract in a cream to soothe a rash is not really the same thing as ingesting cherry blossom extract in order to make more collagen. This one included a whole bunch more than just cherry blossom extract, so again, irrelevant. The final RCT was even smaller, 20 female participants, but it did involve oral ingestion of cherry blossom extract, 150 milligrams, so quite a bit more than what's in the anti-aging booster. And it looks like the CBE groups did see improvements in AGE levels, in skin spots, and redness. However, in the researcher's own words, no significant differences were observed between the CBE and placebo groups. Further investigation using a longer treatment period or a higher dose of CBE will be required to properly assess the efficacy of this extract. And this is coming from the people who sell this extract. <laughs> People who sell this extract are saying more research is needed. And yet, Taddy Westbrook feels comfortable putting it into a capsule and charging people $50 a month for it. I you, Like, how do you even come up with the dose? Like, why 100 milligrams? Where does she get that from? This one and only relevant study used 150 milligrams and, and they came up with nothing. Like, <laughs> it resulted in nothing. I You know, it's just... It's hard to see this as anything other than greed. Or maybe she's 
you know, being kind of taken in by the sciencey people around her. I think she said before she's got lots of scientists involved in formulating these products and maybe she doesn't really understand any of this. She just listens to them and they tell her that, yeah, this is really effective. I don't know, but it, uh, it sucks. We have L-thionine, which people are pretty familiar with. You hear that ingredient in a lot of sleep formulas, actually, in a lot of, you know, calming formulas. It's not necessarily going to make you tired, but when it's used in a formula like this, it does help to regulate your nervous system. It can help just calm the brain, calm your nerves. I really love L-theanine, whether I am taking it in a capsule like this or on its own. So L-theanine, which is found in tea in various amounts, does have some evidence behind it, especially when it's taken with caffeine. Again, I'm not so sure what this has to do with anti-aging specifically, unless you're a roundworm. In all seriousness, there might be a connection in humans between tea drinking and increased lifespan. Again, tea contains L-theanine, but that's not necessarily because of the L-theanine. It might not even be because of the tea. It could just be that people who drink tea tend to live healthier lifestyles overall. Anyway, if you want to take L-theanine, you can find it for way cheaper. Then we have blueberry extract, which is phenomenal because if you're not eating blueberries every single day, which they pack a punch in antioxidants, I love eating blueberries. They are total brain food. They are so good for you. But if you're not eating them every single day, it's nice to know that you can take something that has that extract in it that is going to provide you with all of those beautiful antioxidants. Because blueberries are the only foods that contain antioxidants. Then we have fisetin. It is a potent antioxidant found in a lot of fruits. And this is great for slowing down aging. More antioxidants, more anti-inflammatory. Okay. Anti-inflammatory is having its moment right now. I feel like every supplement company is just like anti-inflammatory. Every diet is anti-inflammatory, which is great because inflammation can be just such a stress on the system if it's happening when it doesn't need to happen. You know, the body will inflame to heal itself. So in many ways, an inflammatory response, if it's responding in the correct way is good. But if you're having an immune issue, like I have allergies, I have a gluten intolerance, my body just goes crazy when I eat the wrong thing or if I have gluten. So inflammation is something I will visibly feel and see in my body. And I love to combat that by taking a lot of different ingredients that can support in the reduction of inflammation. She can feel all of that inflammation. <laughs> It's like when people say that they stopped eating sugar and then they start eating it again and they can feel it, like they can feel the inflammation in their body. It's just, it's, it's stupid. She says a lot of supplements, supplement companies are making anti-inflammatory claims. Well, yeah, of course they are because it's marketable because it sells. People are looking for that. Just like there are supplement companies making anti-aging claims and making immune boosting claims. Then we have apigenin. This again is another anti-inflammatory. This is something that is going to help you to focus, give you more endurance, and is also an antioxidant. So for $50, we're getting essential nutrients that we can get in any multi, cherry blossom extract that might not do anything, and antioxidants. Is this a scam? It feels like a scam. There are two more though, so maybe that's not fair. Maybe the remaining two are just amazing. NAD is the next on the list. Now this is an ingredient that I could kind of just, we could do a whole video on it. This is one that does have many studies to back up. As opposed to the rest of the ingredients. <laughs> is that a little Freudian slip? Many studies to back up. Uh, it's reduction in the damage to DNA that happens as we age. So this is something that actually kind of presses the pause button, helps the body to slow down, that doesn't jump it into aging faster than it needs to. Ugh, presses the pause button? Oh man, that's manipulative. So NAD, NAD, is a coenzyme. It stands for nic oh geez. nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. Nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. It's important for ATP production. And yes, 
DNA integrity. <laughs> there are lots of trials going on now and have been going on for quite a while. It's being looked at everything from Parkinson's and Alzheimer's to chronic fatigue syndrome. Unsurprisingly, this recent systematic review is not nearly as confident about its capabilities as Toddy would like us to be. Despite several decades of active investigation, there is still only suggestive evidence in the form of a few successful and sufficiently powered clinical trials for NAD upregulation to be effective for any of the many potential indications where it may benefit patients. Most of the indications tested require further studies for replication because only a single trial has taken place. So yes, uh, many studies. Finally, we have terastilbene. And if you look at that word, your brain is gonna be like, oh my gosh, I need, I need nootropics. I have an issue with this word, but guess what it does, everybody? Can we guess? It is similar to resveratrol in rich antioxidants, slowing down the aging process. So I take it back. It's actually $50 for, again, essential nutrients that you can get from any multivitamin, cherry blossom extract that might not do anything, nicotinamide, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide that might not do anything, and antioxidants. So just weird. A lot of it didn't really have to do with anti-aging, at least how I think of anti-aging, which is usually like skin related when it comes to these supplements. Or again, like she's a, a beauty guru. She's a YouTuber. You think of like skin, right? And even on the, on the page for this, it says to help combat the visible signs of aging. So it really seems like it's more geared toward skincare stuff and wrinkles and, and all of that. If you're really interested in combating the visible signs of aging, I highly recommend another YouTuber, but who actually knows what she's talking about, Lab Muffin Beauty Science. She actually has a relevant degree. She not only understands the science, but I think is a really good science communicator, which is possibly the most important thing. She does a really good job of communicating the science to people like me who maybe otherwise would not quite understand what SPF is. <laughs> How does it actually work? She's not selling you supplements. She's very upfront with ads. She's very upfront with these companies who have tried to get her to hawk their stuff, but they were making claims that she didn't agree with. And so, you know, she didn't get a, a sponsorship with them. So definitely check out her channel. I've learned a lot about skincare from her. And also like Tati's video, I looked and it seems like she has been accused of using lots of filters in the past. And this video was honestly kind of hard for me to watch because of the seemingly like blurring effect on her cheeks in particular and I think on her forehead. It was hard to look at. It seemed very blurred as though she were using some sort of filter. Maybe she's not, but it really seems that way to me. Otherwise, you know, if it were the camera was out of focus or something, that's that's not how a camera goes. You know, it's not going to have certain things down here and like the eyes clear, but then this blur, that's not how that works. <laughs> so it really seems like she's got like a blur filter or something on, which just seems like you're promoting an anti-aging product and you've got filter. I don't know. I mean, where do you draw the line? You're promoting anti-aging, but you're also wearing makeup. You know, she's wearing foundation and I'm sure a lot of stuff to cover up stuff. I mean, is that, is that any different? Like where, I don't know, man, where do you draw the line? But really that doesn't matter. It has nothing to do with the product. The product is stupid, whether she's using filters or not, whether she looks amazing or not. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did give it a like, consider subscribing unless you just watch this because Tati Westbrook and a new product. I mean, there's not going to be any other video I'm sure about her maybe ever, but subscribe, whatever. Uh, you can support the channel, patreon.com slash unnaturalvegan. Thank you so much to all my patrons over there who do support the channel. And I will have a new video very soon. Really quick, she does say in this video that she's going to have a more in-depth uh, breakdown on the ingredients in the supplement on Instagram, on hers, or on the Halo Beauty one. 
I went to both of those and couldn't find anything uh, on Halo Beauty. There's this little section, uh, Sa Sakura, how do you say that? <laughs> Cherry Blossom questions, but it's like really basic stuff. There's no like detailed information on anything. Works to eliminate hyperpigmentation and uneven skin tone while helping to increase skin elasticity. Blah, blah, blah. Skin elasticity for a more youthful and radiant looking complexion. Like that's, that's it. What I did find interesting though, on her main Instagram page, she has this ad for skin hair care, some sort of moisturizer. And she says here, this moisturizer changed my skin. This is from 18 weeks ago. You know, I don't know, like this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. These people will just keep promoting stuff ad nauseum, skincare, supplements, whatever. Like who, who, how can you possibly be sure that the anti-aging thing is doing anything for her, as she says, and is so very important when she's also like constantly trying new skincare products and new makeup. It's just baloney, baloney sandwich.